Hi and welcome to the Surefire Backlinks Blueprint. In this video series we're going to talk about how to create quality backlinks. So what I mean by that is we're not talking about how to create you know tens of thousands of backlinks and we're trying to focus on good quality backlinks because in Google's eyes if you get just a couple good quality backlinks to your site from either high authority sites or sites you know that have good content and are linking to your site then that's that's the path that you want to get onto so this is video number one which is the introduction first of all I want to give you a quick overview of the six individual videos in this video series as well as a brief overview on how all of this works and then we'll talk about you know all the tools that you are going to need this is course is video number one video number two is a backlink ninja trick relating to dot edu uh, blogs so we're specifically trying to find dot edu blogs and the reason why we want to focus on you know dot edu and dot gov blogs is because in Google's eyes any site that is dot edu or dot gov is usually educational and something that is very very valuable so in Google's eyes they see this as valuable but you know how do you find these blogs that you know that you can actually comment on because not every blog that you go to you can comment on right so we're going to talk specifically on how to go about doing that in this in video number two. It's actually quite easy. Video number three is similar to video number two, but in video number three we deal with .gov blogs. You know, .gov blogs. You definitely want to be careful on you know what kind of comments you make and so forth. So we will go into more detail about that in video number three video number four we're going to talk about the backlink ninja trick which relates to articles articles are not dead now this video series was created after you know recently we had a Google slap it's called a Google Panda slap and in terms in relation to other Google slaps you know people are like oh articles are dead you know, easy in articles, article base is dead, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm about to show you is that you can actually, even after the Google slaps and all this stuff, like I have actually had cases where I've used easy in articles, I've used article base and article marketing sites. And even after the Google slap, my sites are still number one. In fact, uh, one of them is ranked number one out of 152 million results, even after the Google slap. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to show you that you know you can still succeed with article marketing. You just got to know what Google wants. If you know what Google wants, you can make it user friendly for the search engines as well as user friendly for the viewer and the reader. Then you can actually still rank pretty high. So articles are not dead yet. Video number five, we're gonna talk about Facebook. Now, this is not necessarily a ninja backlink trick, it's more of an SEO ninja trick, uh, but this will actually help bump you up in rank and get you kinda listed at the top 10. And video number six, we're going to talk about automation and automating your, you know, your making things faster, outsourcing, and automating the process and speeding things up so that you can do things faster. So, what are you going to need? You're going to need these internet, and you're going to need the right mindset and some willpower. And the reason why I say that is because SEO backlinks and all of this stuff is not exactly your fastest traffic however you know if 
it's free traffic. So being that it is free traffic, if you know how to create you know, the site, add backlinks and so forth, and then set it, and then forget it for a while and update it and this and that, uh, you have the right mindset and the willpower to succeed in the SEO area. I'm not gonna say that is the easiest thing to do, but it is free traffic and it it can do a lot of good for your business. So just for any business, you're gonna need the right mindset and some willpower. Uh, let's talk about money. Do you need money? Yes or no? It depends. It's optional for you. If you want to, you know, optional for outsourcing, if you want to outsource this kind of stuff, you can do this, but you're going to need money. And it, it, it's kind of a balance. If you have more time than money, then obviously you can do it yourself. And as money comes in, you can outsource it. But if you have more money than time, then obviously you can outsource most of this tedious backlink work because, you know, backlinks and so forth. It is a tedious job, but it is worth it in the long run.